once your plies are taught, the next important basic in dance to teach your students is the tendu, which is the pointing of the foot. We're going to do really basic tendu discussion here, knowing full well that most of the time our kids are in sneakers and on grass. So it's pretty much impossible to do a legit, beautiful dance tendu. But we can use the components of that dance tendu to help our legs look clean and make them stronger. Um, so here is what a tendu is. It's basically a pointing of the foot, right? Tendu. Now, there is some technique behind it. First of all, we're going to start in a first position. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my hands on my hips while I talk to you. And actually, when you first teach your kids tendus, this is a great position so they can feel their hip bones. It's important their hip bones stay straight forward. Um, but eventually, once your kids get to be masters of tendus, making them hold their arms open in second while they do tendus also helps develop arm strength. Okay, so you can throw that in later. But what we're going to do when we tendu, number, rule number one, most important, is keeping your legs straight. So as you go to point your foot in front of you, there is going to be no softening of the knee to get it out there. It stays nice and straight. Now to make that happen, here's most important thing number two. All of your weight is going to be on your standing leg, but you cannot let your weight sink down into your standing leg because that's automatically going to make less room for your working leg, the leg that's doing the tendus. So as you go to prepare for tendus, you shift your weight into your standing leg and you think of lifting nice and tall so that you can keep a nice straight leg. Now when we tendu, we can tendu to three places. We can tendu to the front, which is directly in front of us, like you're wearing two skis right there in front of us. We can tendu to the side. Now there are two philosophies of tenduing to the side. There is the true side where you turn your foot and you go straight to the end zones, right? Um, but a more accurate and kind of modified way, uh, especially for beginners, is to tendu to your second, your side, okay? And if you look down at your feet, most of us in our first positions, our feet are kind of going at a 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit more open. You just want to slide your foot right on that diagonal line. So wherever your toes are pointing, that's your tendu, okay? The straight to the side tendu, usually reserved for trained ballerinas who can stand in a perfect turned out first position so their toes are legit going straight to the side. So we kind of go to this 45 degree angle, okay? And of course we can tendu to the back, which is the most challenging one because we talked about those hips already. That's where people want to twist their hips. So you got to keep it forward, still let your foot go back behind you, okay? All right, one last thing I'm gonna say before I walk us through this little tendu combination that I do is that we also wanna work on turnout, okay? This is why it's, it's important to have kind of separate marching and dance blocks because marching, even though you might start in this position, once you get marching, everything is parallel. You know, your, your feet are moving on a parallel plane. But in dance, the training is evident when people can show turnout, all right? So when we tendu to the front, lifting up out of this leg, keeping a nice straight leg, when we get out here, we do not want our shoelaces to the ceiling, right? See how this is a parallel look? So we want to teach the kids how to think about initiating with their heel that this inside ankle bone is trying to get up to the ceiling, okay? Same thing in second position when you go to the side. You don't want to let those shoelaces go to the audience. You want shoelaces to the ceiling so we can see that inside ankle bone and your heel. Okay, straight leg coming back in. When we go to the back, it's a little bit different. This time we want the heel to be dropping down in towards the center of our body. We don't want it rotating out like this and having a sickle or turned in foot. Okay, so we're working that turned out. But hey, here's that inner ankle bone, right? The inside ankle bone is trying to get to the audience, always. When you are showing good turnout, this inside ankle bone is always trying to get to the audience. That's good turnout. All right? So my exercise that I do, and I'll show you with my left foot now. We're going to tendu. We're going to flex. And the reason we do this is to make sure our weight is in our standing leg. Okay? Tendus are not kickstands. You're not supposed to put your weight on it. All right? So we have a working leg, and then we have our standing leg. So we tendu. We flex. We tendu. We close. And then in my exercise, I finish with tendu, and then I do a coupe. So kids can feel the difference. This is a coupe, okay? It's where your toes are touching your heel with good turnout. So my knee is pulled open, my inside ankle bone is trying to get to the audience. 
then I tendu again, and I close. So they can feel the difference between this is a bent knee coming in, this is a straight knee coming in, okay? And then we do that what's called en croix. And en croix in dance means you go to the front, side, back, side. And if I if I am correct, I think en croix means the cross. So you're kind of making the sign of the cross, right? Front, side, back, side. So I'm gonna do it on the right side, and then I'm gonna do it on the left side, okay? I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. You can join me. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, tendu, and flex, tendu, and close, tendu, and coupe, and tendu, and close. To the side, tendu, and flex, tendu, and close, tendu, and coupe, sorry, tendu, to the back, and tendu, flex, oh my goodness, this is a challenging one, tendu, and close, tendu, coupe, pull that knee to the side, tendu, and one more time to the side, tendu, and flex, tendu, and close, tendu, and coupe, and tendu, then we switch to the front with a flex, and a point, and close, and tendu, coupe, tendu, and close, to the side, with a flex and point and close and tendu and coupe, tendu to the back and tendu, flex, tendu, close and tendu with the coupe, tendu and close. Last part and flex and tendu and close and tendu and coupe and tendu and close. One quick note about to the back, okay? When you tendu to the back, you really got to think about lifting up against it. It's very natural kind of let your body lean forward because that's more comfortable, but you want to maintain that alignment every position you put your foot in, okay? Now, the combination I just did, that's one of eight million different combinations you could do for tendu, right? You could just do a straight tendu and close all the way around. I just added some of those extra things because that works best for our program and some of the things we ask our kids to do, okay? Um, I hope that is helpful, and I hope that gives you a little bit of information that you can pass along to your band members on the Tondu.